right guys so here we are right now as you know now I want to tack weld it in place and then obviously take it off the bike and weld it properly and polish it and grind it whatever but to do so I want to do some practice welds on the same material because I want to set up my welder properly to to well to work on this material this thickness these are one and a half mil mild steel pipes so I want to need I need to get the wire speed and the power settings on it so it doesn't blow the holes but it doesn't weld it on top of the surface kind of penetrates just enough and I've got some leftover material I'm going to just do some practice welds run over and over again once this is all set up because that's boring and I'm going to film it I'm going to tuck it in place on a bike and then um, do my best to weld it around it so it looks semi-decent <laughs> wish me luck I'm going to fucking need that Right, tag welds, tag welds all done. Let's see if it comes in one piece. <laughs> right guys, this is actually a first time I'm taking it off as one piece. It's not been a properly welded, I just literally got like two, four, six tag welds on those pieces just to keep them together. But I did on the bike just to make sure it's it's where it's supposed to be. We'll take it off, inspect it quickly, put it back on again. And from that point we can uh, weld it all around it and grind off the excess welds. So it looks semi-decent. Let's see. Yeah, with all the screws off, still a bit warm, but whole piece lifts quite nicely. It's still a bit hot by my gloves. Yeah, it's probably a good idea not to touch uh, hot metal with uh, bare skin. <laughs> well, there we go. The piece is ready. Rear and front. Just need to make a semi decent job now to weld it all around so there's no gaps. Hopefully, we can we can work with that. Good times.
Right, skip forward a few minutes, um, maybe half an hour, and here we go. Piece is ready and it's mounted, all welded together, strong as you like it. I can probably move the whole bike by this. Right, um, some of the words I've done had easy access to it, they were actually quite nice, but some of the ones that access wasn't so easy, right underneath here, um, they weren't that nice. <laughs> so I went ahead and uh, just grind the whole thing off. Um, this still needs a bit of polishing, but it's all one piece. There are no pinholes, um, and, it's, and it's solid. Quite happy with that. Now I need to mount a T-joint, well, notch a tube over here um, so I can mount my carburetor in the end of it. Let's focus on that, shall we? Now where it comes to creating my little T-joint, which is basically replicating that little piece I found uh, some time ago. It was actually not bad done, I don't know who did that, but it was actually a pretty good job. Um, I need to replicate it, that's aluminium, I need to do it in steel. And for tube notching there are a few uh, simple tools to do so. You can have a professional tube notcher, uh, which I don't have because I just don't work with tubes. <laughs> I don't create you know, external and external kind of uh, endoskeleton chassis and all that stuff. So I choose to do it simple way. Um, there are a couple of options I've got. One is an angle grinder. I can just notch a, a kind of triangle piece of a tube and then finesse it with a flap disc or I can use a hole saw um, and kind of create some kind of a jig and uh, see where that takes me because I can just cut through the, the tube directly one and the other side or maybe straight through. and. Uh, that should also give me a good enough results. Obviously, I will need to finesse it with some uh, flap disc and argon grinder later on. Um, but I don't know which route I'm going to take yet. Let me uh, let me experiment and uh, and I'll show you uh, which way I'm going to go for. Right, guys. So here we are, and half an hour or so later, uh, first test I've done with an argon grinder. I literally just cut like a V shape in a tube. The tube was originally like this, like a, like a tube, and I just cut a V-shape, so it came out like this. I put a little bit of flap disc on the side just to make it uh, slightly rounded. Obviously it needs a lot more work to make it perfect, perfectly round. And as you can see, that's a, that's another bad result. It's um, It needs obviously a bit of work, you know, in here and there. That's just a test. It needs a lot more finessing, so that gap disappears from one side to another. But as you can see, that's not bad. I mean, that's a straight angle, um, so it makes it a lot easier than working at different angles. But that's actually not a bad, not a bad match. But then I've done the same thing with a hole saw, a bit, a little jig. I use my um, press drill for that, and the result for that is, uh, I think, it's way better for the same piece. As you can see, even without touching it with any angle grinder kind of shit, finessing it, it's already way better fit. Obviously I need to get rid of all the bullshit from around it, but it fits the pipe near enough perfect without doing anything else. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with with a hole saw, uh, the right diameter, same as this. Um, I think I'm gonna perfect my jig slightly and uh, and finesse it and see what happens. Catch me in a minute guys, yeah? Right guys, so Holso is the winner. Holso and a lot of um, uh, flap disc. I use the uh, older one. It's got nice curvature over here, so it kind of fits around that edges quite nicely. And as a result, I'm quite happy with it. That is the same uh, diameter pipe as I've got down there between the um, cylinders. And as you can see, this bad boy here fits near enough, perfect this. Well, hardly any gap there, is there? I'm really happy with that result. Um, so yeah, all I need to do now, just get that piece from uh, from the engine, measure it up, draw a circle around it, well, outline it, cut it out very, very fucking carefully, and weld that fucking thing back in place. Let's do this. There we go guys, that is a um, hole basically I need to cut over here, well cut 
similar size hole and then finesse it with my grinder. Um, perfect shape and perfect spot for that little tube which is notched over here. Uh, near enough perfect. There's a tiny little gap over here and I can just whack it with a hammer a couple of times and make it perfect. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's just focus and do it very slowly. Cut this part out of here. Don't mess it up, don't fuck it up. Because I spent way too much doing this thing to mess it up this time. Anyway, one more tip for you guys. If you're doing any kind of metal work, listen to Judas Priest. It definitely helps. Right, let's do this. There you go guys, quick look, obviously it's <laughs> not gonna be that long, that would look ridiculous, although I kind of like that look, nah, nah, just, just kidding. Uh, tack welded, three spots, three spot welds, and um, it's looking good, you got all the right angles, perfect this way, 90 degrees angle over there, and on the other side, uh, obviously it will be shorter, I will measure it up later on, where the carb should be, probably somewhere on here just to clear the engine uh, but yeah it's looking good I just need to weld it in uh, completely in place and uh, we call it a day after that for that project anyway <laughs> let's do this Right guys, so uh, that's a solid piece now. Ugh, let's get the helmet off. Solid piece now, uh, all put together. Um, that's how it looks like close up, more or less. Obviously, um, I'm not a welder by profession, <laughs> as you can tell. Everything I learned, I learned by myself. Uh, fucking about here in the garage. But that's actually, uh, I'm quite happy with that, you know, that's a bit of a tricky joint, 
Um, but all together, the whole thing... <sighs> Am I proud of it? Yeah, because I done it myself. Is it uh, super show quality? Well, probably not. There are people out there that can weld, you know... Well, they do welding for a living, you know. They are absolutely amazing and beautiful, you know, whatever they do. Uh, it's strong, it's precise, it's beautiful to look at. Uh, this is probably not the best thing you ever seen, um, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, I'm proud of it. I've done it all by myself. And as you can see over there, it's uh, pretty, um, pretty clean inside. Right guys, on the next episode, because I'm running out of time right now, we need to cut the video to a reasonable length. On the next episode, we're going to cut it to a size and mount this motherfucking thing on the end of it somewhere here. Obviously, not that long, probably halfway through. For that purpose, we need to create a couple of other uh, joints, brackets and some other shit, you know, and gaskets, flanges, you name it. But so far, so good. Guys, thank you very much for watching so far. Have one of those. Rock hard. And I'll see you very soon.